G'day guys, welcome back. I was just doing another video um, of that big kind of wavy uh, mold and I dusted all my mica powders in and I have quite a lot of resin left over. I did make up extra so that I could, you know, while I was stirring, I could make some blooms. So um, I'm gonna do that. Now let me use my, my other glove. So it's the Platinum 360 Plus. And I stopped stirring almost 10 minutes ago. So I just want to wait till this gets to 40 degrees Celsius. I haven't actually checked it yet, but it'll probably take about 10 minutes. Like it's, it's quite deep. And the deeper your resin is, the faster it's going to set up. So let's see. Let's see where it's at. So when it gets to 40, I want to decant. 35, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 39.9, come on 40, come on 40, 40, there we go, all right, so that's taken, let me clean this off, that has taken 10 minutes from when I stopped stirring it, I'm just going to clean this probe off with some alcohol, okay, so let's pour, oh, make sure it's clean, is it clean, I hope so, don't want to pour them too full. Might actually have more left for another one. Now I'm going to put 30 grams in here. Just going to weigh my resin. 30 grams, so one ounce in my little cup, and that'll be for the white. Whoops, there we go. 30. So that's for more white. Now let's just put a little bit more in. I just want to cover the base because when I put my um, white in, it's going to displace what's in here anyway and get deeper. Like the resin's going to get thicker, deeper, I should say. So I don't want to put too, too much in. And of course there's a hair. Gosh. All right, so now I don't need to rush terribly, terribly much. What am I going to do with that? I'm going to get another mold. I haven't cleaned it though. Where will I put you? Hmm, ah, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I might just put it to the side. Don't have to use it. All right, um, so what I want to do is I want to put some alcohol inks in these. Now, I don't like using the piñata alcohol inks for this particular technique. I should have sprayed them with alcohol first to stop the bubbles clinging. Yeah, I don't like using the piñata because um, it leaves the skin like I've used it before. And it's left a skin on top of my resin, which I really don't like. So um, this brand doesn't do it, and the Let's Resin doesn't do it. These are just Deco Rom, just cheapies from Amazon. So I've got a yellow, it's called Lemon. I've got an orange called Tangerine, and a red called Ruby. So I'm going to start... Give them a good shake. I'm going to start with the darkest in the middle. I hate how it sprays like that. Okay, I'll just see what one drop does. See, it spreads quite well. Some others don't really spread all that well. Now I'm going to go with the tangerine. Don't want too much colour. I don't want it like taking over. 
because when you turn your resin piece over you still want to see the design so I don't want to do too too much whoops that was a bit off center I might need to put another one in there if it doesn't close up and then the yellow on the outside with all my others I've done the darkest one on the outside and the lightest one on the inside but I just want to change it up a little bit and see how that goes whoops put a bit much in there okay that's spreading nicely other times when I've used it it hasn't spread very well at all right oh let me see if we're still taping I can probably bring you up a little bit more now I never know whether to have you on focus or on auto focus I'm just gonna put you back on auto there we go um, yes so now what I want to do now is I'm going to just give these a bit of a swirl just to um, incorporate some of the the colors together that one does need a little bit more orange just just there oh, again off center it kind of clung to the edge All right so I'm just going to give these a bit of a, a mix kind of draw some of that orange into the into the yellow and again I'm kind of trying to draw a little bit of the orange into the the yellow on the outside just so we get a little bit of contrast there we go probably stay quite yellow on the outside but that's okay so the resin's going to move and pull together and we'll pull from the outside in right now um, the other thing I want to do I'm not going to put any stones or anything in the center of this one when I pipe today well I'm going to use my little stick but I'm oh it's lost its little nib I knew it was going to fall off but it's actually broken off oh dear I need to buy some more um, now the other thing I want to do is I want to wait till my resin in my little cup gets to 40 degrees again and then I'm going to pipe but I'm going to try and make them a little bit thinner this time I think maybe not so much white oh I don't know we'll just see what happens so I'm going to use the just resin titanium white I don't think it really matters which paste you use as long as you use a paste um, now let's give this a really good stir 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 and then I'm going to scrape my stick on all sides and then just whatever's left on there is what's going in and then I'm going to add mm, I don't know let's do four no oh, no let's do six I've got quite a lot of resin in there it's a whole ounce one two three four five six six drops of alcohol ink this is the pinata one I don't mind using the pinata when I'm like doing my white because it's not sitting on top like this color is it's been it was so frustrating when I started doing the alcohol inks and the they created a skin and I thought oh god what's that why is it doing that you know now I'm just going to change sticks because this one's white now I'm just going to change sticks so that I can see how my white's doing if it's actually opaque or still semi-transparent or I've still got quite a bit of mixing to do though <laughs> oh, it's a bit streaky and it's getting warm I can feel it's getting warm and there's a bubble let me get that bubble get out see if I can get him zap him normally I, I like to spray my silicon molds with alcohol first before I pour my resin in but I just forgot today I don't know why all right so now it is 20 to 9 um gosh let's see I stopped stirring at 25 past 8 so 5 10 15 20 25 minutes would be 10 to 9 8 50 I'm just writing this down is that right 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. 25 minutes is 10 to 9. I'm just writing this down so that I know 
for future reference. I like to write it all down. And I know if it works, then I know what to do. And I thought, oh, that's right, I waited till 25 minutes. Now this looks quite opaque. I mean, I only put a tiny bit in, but it still looks quite opaque. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Where's that other coaster? I'm just going to pop this one here. I don't know if you can see or not. Let me have a look. I don't know what you can see. <coughs> there we go. We got a little, a little smiley face. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pour that in there. There's a bump in my mat. And I can't get the bump out. Came, it was folded and very upset because I can't get the bump out. I've tried heating it. Now this is just going to be my test piece, this one. Um, I'm going to see what the resin does, the white resin, at different times. So, um, alright, this is 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes is the top one, that one, well my top one, your bottom one. Let's see what happens. So now what I want to do is, I want to take this guy's temperature now and see if he's got back up to 40 degrees. Like normally I would pipe at say 30 minutes, but if your resin's getting hotter, you may have to do it earlier. 37, 38, 39, oh gosh, we're on 40 already. Let's see, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, my 30 minutes isn't up yet. This is where it's always a, a drama, let me clean that. Clean my little stick, it's good he just folds back in again. It's going to make sure you clean him. Alright, look at this guy, look what he's doing. But just because he's doing that doesn't mean that he won't drop later on. Um, are we on? It's only been 20 minutes. It's only been 20 minutes. Oh. Alright, should I just go for it? It's because it's warming up faster because I had like a, you know, a half a cup full. So it's warming up faster. But I'm going to go with the 40 minute, uh, the 40 degrees and see how that works, okay? Because that one looks as if it's blooming. But I'll put another one in at five, in another five minutes and see what it does. Okay. Oh, hang on, I've got to use my other thing. My, my thing! My thing. Here we go. My silicon stick thing. I don't think I'm going to wipe it. Uh, look, see now I'm getting colour on it, so I'm going to have to kind of try and just wipe the colour off. I'm going to try not to clean my stick. I'm just going to dip so that I still get a, a decent amount in there. Although... You've got to worry about it dripping otherwise. <gasps> wow, look at that one spreading. Look at that. I'm just doing these petals and I've worked out that by using the silicone stick and actually pushing the resin, the white resin, into the other resin you get really different pretty effects rather than just using the piping bag uh, where the resin just sits on top. I'm going to put some colour on this one. Because if 
he's going to work, I don't want to waste him. Hey. Okay, there we go. I won't swirl because he's already in there. And I'm just going to do what I did with him and I'm just going to put my little, my dashes in. I've been doing a lot of this lately, just putting little dashes in. That's what I call it anyway, I don't know. <laughs> little dashes. And then try and kind of overlap where you've got a gap. I've got a drop there, so I need to put some more in. Try not to make it, oh gosh, there's a big blob. Try not to make it too heavy. How much, was this, was this one quite thick? Like, was it a big dash or was it just a little thin dash? I don't remember. Let's see if I get a little bit more in there. Getting sidetracked here, aren't I? Let's see if I can finish this one now. Back to this one. Yeah, so for this particular pour, I've gone by the temperature of the resin, getting it to 40 degrees, rather than the time, the 30 minutes. Because, you know, you, you, may, you may have been in a really cold area and you may have warmed your resin. Um, you may have a really hot room, you may have a really cold room. I'm not going to wait for this one because I think it's... I think my time is running out because it's feeling thicker so yeah I'm still experimenting like I've, I'm pretty I guess I'm still pretty new to resin I've um, been doing it for about a year but even though you've been doing it for a year you might be doing different techniques and learning new things so the blooms I have been doing them for a, week, a while as well but they're constantly learning new techniques, new things to do with these blooms. And I use different resins and they all have different setting times. And so you've got to kind of start again with your calculations and what, what resin has a curing time of, you know, some are longer than others and some are shorter than others. And if you've been watching my videos, you'll know I've been doing one that has like it pretty much sets up <laughs> you can unmold it in an hour okay so it's getting pretty thick now so hopefully these outer ones will still bloom it's a problem with doing like a few things you know if you're only doing one you can just take your time but if you're doing like two or three or four by the time you've got around to doing your last bloom you know, your resin's starting to get thick and setting up. Okay. Now I'm going to dip some my stick in there, grab some of that white resin, and just do a little swirl there. Clean that off. Same here. Dip that in. Give a little swirl. Because there's no white resin in the actual center. And I do need a little bit to be in there just to make a swirl. All right. Look, now I've got pale orange resin. Let me clean my mixing stick real quick. Okay. Now, you know the drill. Let me clean up real quick before I take my gloves off. Clean that. Clean this. 
because I don't want to have to put my gloves on again to clean my mess up. So I just want to do it now and then I'm done. Oh look, I've got a streaky bit there. I wonder what that's going to do. Oh, never mind. Right, so these ones, they don't seem to be doing a lot just yet. Hopefully they will still. I'm just going to get my little heat gun out. Just give them a little bit of heat. waited a bit long for these outer ones but we'll see I, I won't pass judgment just yet let's make sure that you've got no big blobs because they'll be heavy and they'll sink so just make sure you've got no big blobs mm, I think that's pretty good not much I can do now because the resin's, you know, starting to, it's getting quite thick now. So not much I can do with it now. All right, last little torch. Now I can see that these missed a bit there. You can see that these outer ones here that I did last aren't blooming as much but oh, I nearly dropped that in there. It could just be because I've done them last okay and then this this guy here that I did first my little test piece he's just going for it. He's doing really well. All right let me um let me get you down and we'll have a little look and see what's going on here. Hopefully they're going to work. Look, there's a glare right in the top of that one. All right, so this was the first one, my little test piece. Focus. Oh, look at those colours, you guys. <laughs> oh, wow. So this was the dash one. And I've been doing a lot of the dash ones lately with my metallics. Not order what I'm not sure what order you're going to see these videos in. Like, I'm doing sometimes two three videos a day because I've only got I think two or three more weeks in my studio and then they're going to be pulling the roof off um, to incorporate my old studio with my new studio so I thought I'm going to do lots of videos I'm going to upload them but keep them private on YouTube and then every couple of days I'll just flick it over to public so that you can see it so I'm not exactly sure what order everything's going to go in See, this one here is not really blooming all that much, but it is. it has stuck to the edge. Let's see if I can get that. They can't really move properly if they're stuck to the side of the mould, so try and make sure that none of them are stuck, otherwise they can't move properly. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the colours. Oh, I'd be happy with this side. Look at the colours. Oh my gosh. All right, so this one is still not doing as much on the edge there. We'll see what happens. I might give that little petal a bit of heat. All right, um, I'm going to see if I can move them in a little while and get off this bump. Does anyone know how to straighten these? It's not sure if it's going to leave a bump on the other side. There we go. Oh, they're so pretty. All right, I will see you real soon for the unmolding. Wish me luck. Hope they work. So it's been about five hours, just over five hours, and uh, they're set. Still a bit bendy, but uh, I think they're set enough to get out. Now, I'm going to get them all out, and I'm going to lay them down, and then we'll do the reveal after I've taken them all out, eh? 
That ring light's going to be annoying. Maybe I'll just hold it this way. I've got a ring light just there. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get some better light. All right, there we go. Uh, now, these single coaster molds, they are available in my eBay store if anybody wants one. Or two or three or four. Or you can just buy the one that's got four rounds. But, you know, if you're on a bit of a budget and you just want one or two then that's a good option to go with all right oh let's see this ring light how's that it had a bit of a glare on it all right now this was the test piece so let's look at this one first and i'm also going to get my little piece of black card ready as well just so that um because sometimes it's nice to see what it looks like with a dark background and as you can see, I didn't top coat these, but you certainly can. All right, so you should probably get everybody out of the way. Everybody can sit over there for a minute. All righty, are we ready? So this was the test piece. Oh, okay, yep, yep, oh, worked really well. I kind of mucked up that end there. I don't know what I did, I'll just hold it like that. <laughs> That's really pretty. So that was just the dashes, my little test piece. And um, the red's kind of gone a bit pinkish there, as it does when it's mixed with white. Let's have a look at it with the black background. There we go. Totally different look, isn't it? If you do want to top coat, you can do it afterwards. You can do it before, but you can also do it afterwards because there's a little lip there on the coaster because I didn't fill them up all the way. So you could just afterwards just fill that in. So there we go there's that one just my little test piece all right now on to this one here i don't know that these two are very different they look quite similar this one actually this one i must have done first because the petals are more white and then as i went along dipping into my little cup of white my white got more orange, so I think that's the second one I did. Hmm, must be. All right, let's have a look at this one first, shall we? Let's put the black on just so that we can see what it's going to look like. Are you ready? Oh, oh wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I don't have enough wows that's so pretty really happy with that look at the swirl I like how you can still kind of see through see you can see through this petal into that petal because I've made it quite um, so almost transparent well not transparent semi-transparent the white so that you can actually see through the petal makes it look even more 3d I mean, they still look really pretty if you make your white quite opaque, but then you can't see through it like that. You can just see that one and that one. You can't see through that. So pretty. All right, let's have a look at the next one. Oh, do you want to see what it looks like without the... That's without the black. And you can put different colours on. Like if you, you know, you demold it and you think, oh, do I want another colour? You can put different colour cards on to see what colour that you might like. I just think black really makes it pop. Any dark colour. All right, now let's have a look at this one. This one was the second one that I poured. Well, it was the last one that I poured, I should say. My resin was starting to thicken up. That's the other thing. The resin was starting to thicken up, I guess. And, um, yeah, it got more colour in the edges. I think that was it. I can't remember. I've mixed them all up now. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Again with the wows. Oh, it's so pretty. More yellow, as we can see around the edge there. Definitely more yellow. What do you think? I don't have another piece of black. So we can see them both together. Okay, there's that one. And there's that one. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? That one? That one. I'm going to have to get some more black card cut up. <laughs> oh dear. 
right so anyway that's them um, I won't put this one in just because um, it's not amazing or anything I just wanted to see you know when I put that first one in I just wanted to see like if it would work at the 20 minute mark and it did so that's my that's my test piece yep much whiter because I wasn't you know re-dipping um, into into the colors I was just doing little dashes so there's that one I won't keep that one I'll, I'll chuck him all right I'm gonna get another piece of card cut up and put under that just one sec I've got a piece of white just to see what the difference would be so that's the white one with the white background and that's what it looks like with the black background you can see how the black really makes everything pop and this one's still really pretty but um, I think I do prefer them with the dark dark background and uh, virtually no bubbles at all there's like a couple of little ones around the edge only because naughty me forgot to spray my mold with the alcohol naughty naughty it's my own fault all right let's have a quick little look at these and then I will say goodbye because I have something else to demold. It's always great demolding two things in one day. I need to move my tripod out of the way. Here we go. Just love this. I don't know whether it's this one in particular, the color of it, or because it's on the black background. I don't know, but I just love it. Come back over to this one. It's a fly buzzing. <laughs> I need to go and swat it. I'm doing my head in. All right, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone, and I will see you real soon for the next video. Okay, bye for now.